Should Tyson Fury box again? Welcome to Mark and Pete. Here's a thought. Knowing when to pull your punches. Boxing clever is a fine endeavour, but your opponent is strong and trim. Just think, however, you'll be sore forever, so it's best to stay in the gym. <laughs> Good to and Pete, I, think I ask you, do you think it's wise that Tyson Fury should ever consider fighting Anthony Joshua or anyone else for that matter? Well, this is the question of whether he should box because of the risk to his health. Uh, I think boxing is particularly dangerous. And, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because it's you suffer a lot of impact uh, yeah. to the upper body and the head. And so it, it's always, when you're talking about these heavyweights who can punch hard, a risky business. So I, I don't think he, he should box. I would say don't – not. A, let me just retry that slightly and say it again. He, I don't think he should go into a proper – competitive certainly you know for for the championship type fight or or defending his championship belt that sort of thing he shouldn't go in that sort of fight i think a, a sort of a show fight where they they just play a bit you know there's not the same pressure and also going into this other sort of fighting like mixed martial art fighting and that sort of thing and certainly uh, if he's going to do some movie acting with stage fighting yes he should fight again Hmm. But he shouldn't box competitively. I just, um, it seems to me there is a risk always. He is the most talented uh, boxer we've seen for a long time uh, at the heavyweight level. Well, and vastly entertaining. We don't want to lose him to a um, to a, a stray punch because you can always get brain damage from one of these punches. He seems to have survived so far without that and i would like him to, to continue so just a humanitarian level because i like him i would say don't box competitively again That's well my look i mean tyson fury has definitely become a character in and out of the ring but here's a few thoughts i agree with the principle that obviously if he were to possibly put his reputation on the line his body on the line his whole boxing record on the line that is a big risk because it would need to be something that he could see as being uh, something that is a gap in his career but really he's pretty much uh, achieved everything now okay uh, the whole principle around this is to possibly have a fight with anthony joshua uh, but there are some conditions in the sense that what he is doing, Tyson Fury, is goading his opponent by saying, that first of all, it should be about the would be free to watch and based in England. Now, the point here is, is that Anthony Joshua is actually looking to regain his WBA, WBO, mm -hmm. yeah. IBF and IBO world titles when he fights Ukraine's um, Usyk. Now, this is uh, something which is a rematch, and it's to be held in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, in August. Now, here's the thing, though, that um, we don't know what the outcome of that is going to be. But even if Joshua no. were to win, what would the prize be? Now, I could see that in some ways, if, and again, let's just take a route on this, if Tyson Fury were to get back into the ring, he could then possibly have some kind of unifying, unification fight where all belts were on the line. But here's another thought. You mentioned something else here, which I, I was slightly concerned about. Um, if Tyson Fury does not go into the ring with uh, Anthony Joshua or anyone else in the traditional boxing sense, beware of the other types of activities. Martial arts and those mixed martial arts, learn your lesson. Because Muhammad Ali, remember him? yes, often considered to be the greatest boxer of all time, did something very, very similar in the late 70s, early 80s. And actually, it was considered as a major hit to his health because there were some many investigations later about uh, the, uh, the damage that it did to his legs and to his uh, upper body. And this caused some blood clots and it caused him such pain that he probably didn't recover. So whilst I know that many would say that actually the fight against Larry Holmes was the thing that really did him in, actually the martial arts um, was also something to be bear, to bear in mind. So my advice here is maybe what we're seeing here is Tyson Fury is going on another route. 
is this that he's just doing as a ploy to sort of build himself up to maybe sort of take on some acting role? I could see him being the new Arnold Schwarzenegger, or I could see him being a Bond villain. What great Bond villain he would make. <laughs> Mind you, I'd quite like yes. to see Matt G.B. James Bond, but that's another matter. <laughs> I, I, also, I agree. Yes, he has, has a nice line in suits. Look, I think that uh, with for Tyson Fury, he has done some... Uh, Boxing. I think he was uh, some other forms of fighting. He's yeah. already done it. And, um, uh, uh, yeah, it may be that uh, that that uh, that's a mistake as well. But certainly they're not as risky as these heavyweight sure. heavyweight boxing sessions. And if he's thinking of not going back into the ring boxing, it's worth it's worth pursuing these other forms to to get uh, more exposure. But I and for fun, I guess. But what I would do is uh, he's got a gym set up. Uh, I think have a, a proper training program, yeah. and you know encourage other boxers. He would enjoy that, and and uh, he's so vastly entertaining, got a personality. I think if he trimmed down a bit, he'd look good as well. I think yeah. he can be a movie star. Well, this is true. But here's something again. Here's a fight that he may not win. And Tyson, we yes. know that you. And I'm sure he's a great fan of the show. Yeah, Would probably beat most of the professional boxers out there. But really, do you want to get in a fight with your wife? You've already promised yeah. that you wouldn't do <laughs> no it <point>. again. <laughs> so I yes. think that's one that's, you might yes. lose. <laughs> yes. Don't, oh, don't I ask you. <laughs> I'd love to hear that, what right. other people think about the idea of getting Tyson back into the ring. Yeah. And, and also, yeah, true. And also, I think that's, that's another point where like people's comments on. So if he does that, and he has promised his wife he won't do it, mm. um, is that you know is that wrong? Is he going back on his word? She quite. said she doesn't quite believe him. She said uh, in an interview, she said, "Well, you never quite know with Tyson." So I think that there is there's possibly that understanding. We don't know their relationship, so it may well be that she understands, and that's that's the way that's the way it goes. But really, if you've said you're not going to do it, you should stick to it. Mm. Shouldn't you? Well, let us know as we say. Uh, remember uh, to leave a comment. And uh, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, it it really helps us if you give us a five star review, whether you like the show or not. Anyway, from Mark and Pete, that's it. Catch you next time. Mm-hmm.